But all right. <laughs> wow. Mutual mutual charge. I respect that. This is button checker. No, this is it. Is it? All right, chief. All right. He's playing a bit more offensive oriented than what I was anticipating. Yeah. Definitely, definitely. I think he's playing more bait and punish style. Like he's trying to look for what Brave's doing and exploit it. Back air, back air. Oh, uh, triple no. back air. That was a little bit of a reach. I would have done like I would have waited for it, like waited for him to drift forward and then just fair his ass. Yeah, that would have been funny. That would have been funny. Get the reverse fair. Ooh. Okay, super armor. Good armor on that. Well. The other thing about Proctavia is he has a lot of knowledge of this game. Yeah. Like he's one of the smarter players here. I think that's what's really going to carry him. Because grapplers take a lot of knowledge. Like, yeah. you have to know. You have to know. Well, you have to know your limits, basically. Yeah, you have to know. So I'm terrified to play Incineroar, but. When you're. Huh? 3 0. Um, shiny. shiny Weasel. Yeah. I see him trying to set up the trampoline. The trampoline is a bit tricky in this matchup, but at the same time, maybe he could get a little extra jump height for up air. Okay, throws out the key. I feel like they're a little bit further from Ding Dong percent. Oh, beautiful, okay. beautiful play by Rave. I feel like if anybody were to end proc, it probably Rave is also another favorite to win this tournament, in my opinion. I feel like he's gonna be another top eight contender. No, there's too many. There's too many characters that are gonna be stacked against him. Like who? Like we got proc right now. Oh no, Seabass is also in this. Yeah. I forgot about Seabass. Honestly, this is going to be an interesting top 8, but... I'd definitely like to see what we get. Ooh, it's a trampoline place. I'm trying to mix them up with all the aerial momentums. <laughs> Wait, did that just nullify out his uh, charge? No. Oh. Hmm. So much we don't know about Pac-Man. There is one thing we know though. This grab sucks. Oh yeah, definitely. Did you know Pac-Man's dash attack is lagless? Yeah. That is why. Hey man, you gotta get, you gotta give the guy something. For trampoline's frame one. But it's okay. Definitely interested to see how Pac-Man plays in Ultimate. I'm actually just genuinely like. Excited. Well, he's definitely spacing at, or like keeping yeah. Brock away from him. That's, That's really. He's doing Pac a good job. Pac-Man's his owner. Yeah, he's playing defensive. He's camping for items, setting the hydrant, setting the trap. He's looking for his opportunity to go for the bell and then up smash. He's playing the game perfectly. But I think Brock knows that. He, he That's why Brock is like trying to. Brock is adapting right now. Yeah. Proc is what, he, what he's trying to do is he's staying, trying to stay out of his range, looking for a point where he could go in, and then just like either yeah. giant punch or just ding dong him. No, I think he's gonna go for the giant punch. Like down jet, like tilt lock jet. Ooh. Oh, I would have belled right there. Ooh. He was definitely reaching for it right there. Yeah. Double roll. Ooh. Yeah. Interesting F smash in a hydrant. All right, what stage do you think uh, Proc is gonna take him to, like Town and City, Dreamland? If, no, I, if I were Proc, I would take. I take him to Dreamland. I would take Pac-Man to somewhere where he couldn't set up as well. So, so a smaller stage. Yeah, so yeah, Dreamland. Yeah, Dreamland. Would be a good, good choice. Because Dreamland, you have low ceiling, small stage size, and also and that, platforms. And platforms. Those yeah. are the three things you want as DK. And platforms really mess up Pac-Man's uh, setups. Ooh, okay. Rave off to a dominating start right now. Ah, uh, Rave won game one. Interesting trap on the uh, top platform. I feel like that'll definitely come into play. Like, he's trying to set that up for, like, a later Ding Dong. Yeah. That frame one, that frame one trap is so good. Yeah. Ooh, okay. Now All right, yeah. DK with the bell. Excellent ledge trap. If only it was at a higher percent. Yeah. That well, you know what? He got good. That would have been an easy though. stock. Still though, he's got he's got enough rage. I wouldn't I wouldn't constitute a, a fully charged up smash killing right now. Oh, he's, he's fishing for that grab. Yeah. 
He said Ding Dong percent. Maybe he, maybe he has a little bit too. Uh, he's trying to I think he's. Oh, I think maybe he's reached a little bit too much though. Yeah, definitely. Here you go. Ooh, beautiful. Rave is so consistent with those Bell to up smash. He's so consistent with that. You can't let him have it. You can't. When he has Bell, you can't be anywhere near him. That's the issue with DK though. Is he doesn't really have anything to fight from a range. If I'm like Fox, I'll maybe just go laser. I'll go side V just so I can like try to get in safely. I think the only thing. But DK doesn't have that. I think the only thing he can do is like space his tilts or space back air. But that's about it. I mean, yeah, he has range, but he doesn't have the range like sufficient sufficient enough to work yeah. with that. Like to work with that. He just. Ooh, I see that. That was like some good shield pressure. That was some very good shield pressure. Yeah. Rave is so knowledgeable when it comes to this character, though. Like, you see him go for, like... I don't know if, if these two, like, know each other personally, like, what their history is together, but... I feel like they definitely know each other inside out. And I think Rave knows this is what Prox does, so how am I going to play around it? So he's just really playing really passively. Yeah. That, he's just kind of running around him right now. That's what he needs to be doing, though, because... Well, what? Yeah, he's, he's in Ding Dong percent. If he can get a little bit more damage, get the bell, that's game right there. Like, this is his game to win right now. He has the bell. Uh, picks in his hands. Beautiful mix-up, beautiful cross-up with the shield to the back air. Oh, there yep, there it is. Let's get him, Rave. Wow. So, I think I said, like I said, there's somebody to take out Brock Xavier. I think Kyle Young's going to take the event.